for me, like I have to say, the first game changer is when I lived in Ohio. I studied with this drummer named Bill Severance, and he's moved to LA. Um, this would have been in the 80s, and he said he he moved to LA and wind up getting a gig with Captain and Tennille. And it was happening in LA then, you know, stuff was a lot of recording and playing, and, and he kept calling me up, man, you got to come out here. I studied with him for about two years, he taught me like the Berkeley method on drums and stuff. And he's ambidextrous like I am, so we play both ways. And uh, and he, go, he kept calling me, kept bugging me, man, you got to come out here, you know, you got to get out of Ohio, you know, there's nothing going on, there's lots going on here, man. And he bugged me and bugged me, and finally one day, I had just got married, and you know, I, I said to my wife, I said, you know, do you want to move to LA? She's like, yeah. So we basically sold everything that we owned. We saved like $5,000 in cash, rented a U-Haul, put all our crap in there, and like the Beverly Hillbillies man drove to LA and stayed with my cousin, you know. But this guy, if he wouldn't have pushed me to come here, I mean, my, who knows what would have happened with my career. You know, I might still be there doing gigs or whatever, but what it really did was it made me not afraid to take chances because that was a major chance in my life. I mean, I, was, I had a really steady, nice club gig, paid really good money for there. But that's when you do stuff like when you're young like that and you don't have so much responsibility and you know you don't have so much on your back that you can take those kind of chances. And so we did and we came out here. But my game changer with Elton was when I met the guitar player Davy Johnstone who I met through the late Bob Birch, our bass player who just passed away last year. Um, Bob and I were writing songs together and um, recording in his little studio. And basically I was playing on them and singing and Bob had just got the gig with, Dave, with Elton John. And so um, uh, one day, I guess, Davey came over to Bob's house to work on some music and, he heard, and Bob said, hey, check this out, I've been working with my friend John. And he's like, wow. He goes, oh, I like that, you know. And so two weeks after that, Davey calls me and he and Guy Babylon, the keyboard player, wanted me to come over and do some recording for them in their studio. Basically, I went uh, to the studio and um, I sang like two songs for them and uh, they didn't even audition me as far as playing. It was kind of funny just because of Bob's um, recommendation they were more interested in how I was going to sing, so they heard me sing, and then maybe a month after that, Davey called me up and said, look, we're interested, and in, you know, we want to get somebody in the band like you that can play percussion and drums and sing and knows electronics and stuff like that. But I just went over to Davey's house, and he played acoustic guitar, and I sang some background parts, and he went, well, as far as I'm concerned, you've got the gig, you know. <laughs> you know you'll meet Elton in France and like, uh, three or four weeks we flew to uh, France to rehearse for four days. I'd never even met Elton yet and uh, had four days of rehearsal and then the first show was in Germany, an outdoor festival for like 40,000 people. So needless to say I was, you know, scared. But, uh, but it was cool. It's funny, I, I barely remember the first gig because it was so overwhelming, you know. I remember the rehearsals because I had to stand I had to, they set me up right next to Elton, like his piano was right there and I was right behind him and the whole time he's playing he's just looking at me. He'd play and sing and he'd just turn and look at me and I'm like, oh my God, you know. So I mean, those were two game changing moments, learning that I've, you know, to find the courage to just take a big leap into something because, you know, sometimes you just got to do that. You just got to go, you know what, I'm going for it, you know. And, and, and of course to have a mentor for somebody to encourage you is a blessing, you know. And the fact that I met Davey, you know, and, you know, and the Elton John people really through recording and not so much actually going out and playing. So you just never know how things are going to work for you as far as, you know, when, when, like it's that old adage, you know, you have to be ready when you get the opportunity and it's like I was playing all the time and recording and my chops were up and, you know, I, I have my stuff together so when Davey called me I was, you know, I was on it.